Welcome to EnviroTrue. We do a lot about biodiversity in the Karingai area, but today we're sort of looking at permaculture. And not only permaculture, but a specific slant, the productive pond. You've got to see it to believe it. I think when I first saw this pool, my jaw dropped. It's absolutely amazing. And what's really amazing is that it's only four years old. If you can do this in four years, you can do anything. Okay. So so we've just had everyone visit your pond and now I've got a chance to talk to you alone. This is a brilliant setup, but can you really get specific? Like the water gets pumped from the pool into where? So the water gets pumped from the pool into a little barrel where the sediment falls down. You so mean those we, orange barrels? Yeah, the orange barrels. We go in there, the sediment falls down and then the water comes out the top and goes into the grow beds. The grow beds are in those raised beds, the blue ones with the plants growing in them. Yeah, and those beds are full of pebbles. So it's like hydroponics? It's kind of like hydroponics, except instead of putting synthetic fertiliser in, we use the water from the fish, which contains the fish poo. Right, so how often does the water from the barrels go into the raised garden beds? It's a continual flow. So the water continually flows into the barrel, the sediment drops, it's coming out the top, it goes into the grow bed with the pebbles. It'll fill up over a period of about 15 minutes and then a bell siphon triggers and the water all drains out. It's still coming in at the same time, but the draining is quick enough to empty the grow bed. And then back bed. into the pool. And how clean pool. is the water when it's in the pool? The water is very clean where it comes out of the grow bed. The so plants have taken up all the nutrient and the water you see when it comes out. And we've also tested it when it comes out and it's it's so clean. except for the pellets, it's pretty much a closed system, isn't it? That's correct. Except for the pellets, it's a closed system. Apparently you don't give the normal diet of pellets. What's the story? No, so according to the experts, I probably feed only about 10% of what's usually required for fish to grow. Wow. A uh, big part of that is because my fish, they forage free range. I like that free range. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. free range fish. So they're mm. eating all kinds of things because there's heaps of different little critters in the pool, as well as a lot of roots of plants. So they would nibble on those. We also throw in the sweet potato leaves. We throw in amaranth leaves and we grow maggots specifically for the fish. From time to time, we're feeding them worms as well. And we're working towards getting the, all those things to be more a major component of their well, diet than the pellets. If only 10% of their diet's pellets, you're already well on the way. Okay, JJ, we've talked a lot about these orange barrels. Now, these are the ones where the pool water gets pumped into. That's right? That's correct. The pool water gets pumped into here, and there's a kind of baffle system we've just made with some old buckets that pushes the water down so any sediment falls to the bottom of the barrel. I'll pull it up so you can have a look. So this is your patented baffle <laughs> system? <laughs> the patent. It's actually like a pretty common YouTube setup. So we just stuck two buckets together, basically. It's called a radial flow filter. So the water comes in quite low, goes up through a tube. This then sits over the top of that. And as the water comes out of that, it forces it to go down. Water that's already been forced down, dropped its sediment that comes out the top here, where it goes to the grow beds. Once a week, all the sediment that's accumulated at the bottom of this barrel, we take it and we put it into another barrel. We put our, our little bag of compost in there. We put seaweed, we put molasses and we put comfrey. Boy, you know how to look after bacteria, don't you? Yeah, I want, I'd like to think my bacteria are well fed. I think a lot of people focus on pool, no chlorine, must be mosquitoes. Why aren't there mosquitoes? Well, as I understand, mosquitoes only like to live in shallow water. And also we have lots of different things living in the pool, especially the little native fish that will eat the mosquito larvae. So that's not a problem. Any of the food come from the raised garden beds for the chickens? Yeah, chickens tend to get all the scrappy material out of our garden. So whenever we pull a plant out, because it's pretty much finished, if there's useful parts for the fish, we'd give that to the fish. Then the rest of the stuff will go to the chickens and anything that's not suitable for the chickens goes to the compost pile. Could anyone do this? I mean, this does look a little complicated. Is this beyond a normal person? No, it might look a little bit complicated at first just because some components are unfamiliar to people but it's generally pretty easy and it's pretty forgiving. So I guess you could just start with one raised garden bed. Yeah, you could. And just a few fish. Yeah, exactly. See how you go. Oh, well, 
Excellent, JJ. I think I've got my head around it at last. Can you show us the maggots? And sure. I, I know you've got apis, uh, the feral honeybee. I'd be interested yeah. to see them too. Yeah, sure. Come and have a look.